ETA to Earth, approximately 12 days, Captain. Very good, number two. I'll be looking forward to getting some downtime in an actual city for once when we get this last shipment back to Earth. I'll just be glad when this stuff is off my ship. It's not exactly the safest material to be ferrying around, and this isn't exactly the safest area of the galaxy either. I've got a mate who works in R&D back on Earth. Says this stuff is going to contribute to some really important research. What was that? We're under attack by another ship, sir. What ship? What's its UID? It's not transmitting a UID, sir. Pirates. Fire laser cannon! Cargo hold. Cargo hold, do you read me? Seal the bridge, number one. Aye, Captain. Ah, you must be the captain of this illustrious vessel. I do apologize for our somewhat unorthodox entrance, but me and my crew were just passing when we noticed your ship, and I said, I bet that ship's carrying some very interesting cargo, didn't I, lads? Yeah! Well, we just had to come and have a look for ourselves, and imagine our surprise when we came across a cargo hold full of silithium ore. Very useful and expensive stuff. And funny thing, you don't seem to be using it right now. So we thought, we'd quite like to have it. Or to put it in simple terms, you've been hijacked. The idea is to allow Bulb to perform tasks that require a high level of delicacy by increasing the accuracy and detail conveyed by his visual inputs. Sounds good, Professor. Although I'm not sure when we're going to need Bob to be able to see gaps only millimeters thick. Try atoms thick, and I promise you it'll be very useful. I would like it to be noted that right now I can't see anything at all, and it's beginning to dawn on me how little I'm missing. Alright Bob, I know. I'm hooking it all back up in a minute. Sir, we're getting a distress signal. It's coming from a cargo ship out near the Theta system. Isn't that where the new Silithium mines are? Silithium? It'd be very dangerous if any of that element fell into the wrong hands. If that cargo ship is carrying Silithium back to Earth, especially through the most distant and least police system under Space Guard jurisdiction, they'd be a prime target for anyone looking to make a lot of money fast on the black market. Well, we'd better get there fast and see what the problem is. Sergeant, set a course for their position. Make it the quickest route possible. Yes, sir. Ah, 
I have to say, Cap, you have a lovely ship here. I think I'm going to enjoy this little business venture. Is that what they call piracy these days? A business venture? You would do well to shut your mouth and not get smart with me, Cap. The reason me and my crew have let you and yours stick around on this trip is for insurance. We need to make sure the Space Guard won't just blow this ship up to stop us getting away with our prize down in the cargo hold. They wouldn't attack a ship full of innocent civilians, would they? But if you get any more disagreeable, I may have to re-evaluate your usefulness. The Silithium's useless to you, though. Without the right material to refine it, it's basically just rock. I'm not here to use the stuff. Too much trouble for what it's worth, if you ask me, considering it's liable to explode at the drop of a pin. But there are a lot of people who are willing to pay extravagantly to get their hands on the Space Guard's precious new discovery and turn it against them. So, what? You just sell it to the highest bidder, no matter if they plan to destroy the galaxy with it? Yep, that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll never have to work again with a hole like this. We can buy our own planet and live in luxury. Well, all except for Haras here. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Haras. Poor Haras. No sense of humor. You two have a lot in common, Cap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough messing about. Haras, set a course for Elrond Prime. It's time to get ourselves out of Space Guard jurisdiction. Um, Commander, the cargo ship just changed course. It looks like it's headed out of Space Guard territory. Well, that's not good. Do I have permission to pursue, sir? We can't act outside of our jurisdiction. Once we cross out of the Theta system into neutral space, we have no authority. If the ship is crossing out of our jurisdiction after sending out a distress signal, we can be almost certain that it was carrying Silithium ore and it has now been hijacked. We can't let the ore fall into the wrong hands. It's just too dangerous. We have to pursue it. Professor, if we cross out of Space Guard territory, we will not have the authority to make any rescues, arrests, or even prevent the ore from falling into the wrong hands. We'd essentially be going rogue. We just can't do it under our own authority. We have to contact Space Guard HQ and wait for their orders. That could take days at this distance. Not just the time for the message to get back to Earth, but for the councils to meet and debate and deliberate. By the time we even got an answer, even if it was to pursue, the ship would be long gone and the Silithium with it. People could get hurt if we act without the proper jurisdiction and authority. More people will get hurt if the ore ends up in the wrong hands. Even if they don't want to use it as a weapon, if handled incorrectly, raw Silithium is basically a time bomb. It's extremely volatile. Professor- Stop arguing, you two. The more time we debate this, the more time the ship has to get away. Sergeant, how long until the ship leaves the theater system? Not long, sir. I'd say we have 30 minutes at most. And how far are we from their current position? Can we overtake them before they make it out of Space Guard territory? It'll be tight, sir, but I think we can do it. Full light speed then, Sergeant. <laughs> Professor, is Bob ready to go? I need to hook up one last port and then he'll be fully operational again. Oh, goody. I'll be able to see again. And then you'll come up with lots of other dangerous situations for me to risk my life in. I'll look forward to that. We're catching up to the ship now, sir. I can slow them down, but we won't be able to board unless they stop. Perhaps if we were to shoot out their engines? Good idea, Sergeant. Wait, there may still be civilian crew members on board. Damn, you're right. We can't risk innocent lives. Sergeant, stay in pursuit and try and cut them off. Lieutenant, get to the Ford Cannon. Only shoot the engines if you can guarantee a clean hit with no structural damage. Right, sir. Uh, um, Captain, we, we, we appear to have a, a space guard ship on our tail. What? How did they find us? Um... The distress signal's been going this whole time. I, 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 I didn't realize. It, it must have been set off uh, before we even boarded. Ah! <sighs> Start evasive maneuvers. And notify the rest of the crew. They're probably going to try and board us. We need to get the hostages into the cargo hold. Sergeant, is it 
Is there any way to keep both ships steady in line just for a tiny bit longer? I can't get a clear shot like this. I'm trying. Well, their engines are gone, but they're maintaining speed. I'll have to perform a manual force deceleration. What does that mean? I'll have to ram them. Oh, of course, I should have guessed. Well, that decelerated them all right. Okay, Sergeant, dock with the ship. We're going to board them. Lieutenant and Bob, you're with me. Sergeant, keep the ship steady. Professor, go get supplies from the med locker and wait for our call. We might need them. let these pirates use them as hostages to try to negotiate their way out. We don't even know how many pirates there are. We don't want any civilians getting mixed up, especially if this turns into a firefight. The pirates must have had a ship they boarded from. I'll get the sergeant to run an analysis and see what they can tell us. Sergeant, do you read me? Here, sir. What do you need? Can you figure out how the pirates got under this ship? Maybe knowledge of their ship will give us some more information as to what we're up against. On it, sir. Okay, looks like the pirates were using an Elronian T-class runner. It's highly modified, as expected, but still tiny. Unless they're really crammed in there like sardines, I don't think there could be more than five or six of them. Okay, that's good news. Professor, what is the crew complement for one of these cargo freighters? I've been looking up galactic shipments transport protocols for Silithium. Looks like they have pretty thin crews, really just the essential personnel. Perhaps they don't want to risk too many people on an ore as dangerous as Silithium. The weapons on these ships are pretty sparse as well. They wouldn't have stood a chance against those pirates. Okay, we can talk to them about better protection once we get out of this. We need a plan before we go charging in. If there's so few of them, they've probably got all the prisoners together. Maybe in the cargo hold? So they can watch both them and the cargo. You'll need to secure the bridge. That's probably where their captain is, and they'll probably figure out that this ship has secondary backup engines soon. We need to stop them from attempting another escape. Okay, here's the plan. Bob and I will head for the bridge to take back control of the ship. Lieutenant, you head down to the cargo hold and release the crew. If any of them need medical attention, call the professor. See if you can secure the cargo too. If we can keep them from getting away with the ore, then that's a bonus, but the priority is the civilian crew. Is that understood? Yes, sir. <laughs> That means there's probably about two pirates on the bridge, and maybe one civilian. The pirates are pretty heavily armed. Be careful. Good work, Lieutenant. Any sign of the cargo? Looks like it's all here too. I'm gonna see if I can sneak into the hold through the vents. Maybe I can catch them by surprise. Okay, Lieutenant. Once you've secured the area, call the Professor and check over the civilians. Yes, sir. What are you going to do with all the money from this Silithium stuff what we got? I think I'll buy one of those clubs that they have on Eron Prime. The ones where the girls dance and stuff. What about you? I'll probably invest it. I've heard the personal teleport industry is about to go through the roof. You're going to invest it? Well, well, only some of it. The rest I'll spend on women and booze and... Uh, 
art. What was that? It was nothing. No wonder you want to invest it. You're overly cautious. Try living life as it comes like I do and nothing will ever go wrong. I'm Lieutenant Sola. I'm a Space Guard officer and I'm here to help. Professor, can you and the Sergeant come aboard? There are a few civilians who need medical attention. We're on our way. Where are the Space Guard? Put your weapons down. You're under arrest. Ha <laughs> ha! You won't shoot me. You can't risk hitting an innocent civilian, can you? You Space Guard types, you're so pathetically moral. You can't even do your job properly. Bob, this is Summers. You can use your improved eyesight to guarantee that you'll hit the pirate without hitting the civilian. Alright. It sounds irritatingly complicated, but I'll give it a go. Ah, no! I'm Commander Ryder of Falcon 1. This is Bob. My crew has the rest of your people safe. We're sorry we had to shoot out your engine. We'll tow you to the closest base for repairs. And to charge our friends here with piracy. I wouldn't have an anti-space guard plan? Excuse me, dear friends, but I have some silithium to steal. Change of plans, lads. Load as much of the side lithium as you can into our ship. We need to build a hasty retreat, but I'm not leaving empty-handed. <laughs> was that the pirate gentleman used a broad spectrum sound wave generator to free himself and knock us out. I saw it all on a nearly atomic level, and it wasn't any more interesting that way. Sir, the pirates are escaping! We did it, Captain! We're out of Space Guard territory! Ha 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 We're home free, lads. Nothing will stop us now. Damn it, they're out of our jurisdiction. We can't touch them. Hmm. What is it, Professor? I'm doing a few scans and I'm just noticing the ambient temperature on their ship. You remember I told you that raw silithium was very volatile? Yeah. Well, at that temperature, it's a disaster waiting to happen, and I don't think it'll wait much longer. Captain? Don't interrupt me while I'm basking in glory. Captain, look, look at the slithium! Abandon ship, lads!
detecting six escape pods, sir. Should we pick them up? Lieutenant? We can't. They're out of our jurisdiction. Quite right. I'm sure someone will pick them up in a week or two. Anyway, we've got a cargo ship to tow. Set the course back to the freighter, Sergeant. Yes, sir. <laughs>